G402 is the first time that you can really take 3D CADing and use it in real life applications. It's a really neat way to combine modeling and the design aspect of engineering into creating a concrete object at the very end for whatever your purpose. Essentially for the first half of the semester, uh, the students learn software and then the second half of the semester uh, is really those teams working on uh, whatever design project they've actually signed up for. Our task was to design a casing for a handheld USB microscope that could have interchangeable spectral filters, basically like different colors, but for UV and infrared. The project team I was placed on was the Utensil Grip Project. We got to work with a boy named Jeremy who had some motor dysfunction in his hands where he couldn't properly hold the utensil and feed himself. So very dependent on those around him. Um, and even more so, it affected um, his grip, so his, his hand movements were, were worsening because of the way that he holds his current utensils. I was really interested in the class because it was open to uh, not just uh, one subset of engineering students, but industrial designers and bioengineers and general engineers, mechanical engineers. Back when I started 20 some years ago, computer-aided design was a technique that basically was used to do drawing. Now it's much more focused on creating uh, digital or virtual models of three-dimensional objects, buildings, things like that. When I initially started to offer it, it was intended as kind of a 400 level CAD technology class. So I did that for maybe three years. Um, and then I met David Waitman, my, my colleague in industrial design, and we decided to offer that, combining engineers with industrial designers. Overall, the best thing about working with industrial designers is just getting a different perspective. So I was interested in the interdisciplinary um, student population that could enroll in the class. So I think the point is kind of, um, gain project experience with students that are not necessarily in your same field. The idea of the project was to get all these different majors together from different backgrounds and you know kind of put all of their strengths together to design something incredible. At the beginning of the semester we didn't really take advantage of the prototyping, the 3D prototyping aspect and then when we finally realized how useful it was, we did it over and over and over again. Ergonomics were so easy to spot. Uh, we basically printed the handle and felt it and said, yeah, that's bad. Even, even aesthetics, uh, you know, we, we made this really bulbous model at first and then we printed it out and it, we really had to see the physical model to realize that it wasn't going to work. What we were able to do was use the Fusion 360 environment in order to create a custom grip handle specifically for Jeremy. What that group did, what was the, I think the best thing about their project is they worked out a workflow where you could use a, a, a compliant material like plasticine or clay to work out what shape it should be for the utensils. Uh, then you scan it and then you 3D print it with a hollow center so that it's, um, it's kind of big, as big as it needs to be, but it's not heavy. Um, and also, if, you, if it wears out, you can just print another one. We scanned the mold and put it into Fusion 360, and in front of us we had a picture just like a rod with someone's grip in it. Having the access to scan just a very abstract object and then being able to work with it and modify it is huge. Their project wasn't just a thing, it was the, the system of making it. I'm very lucky to be an engineer with modeling in my background. I think it's rare to find engineers with their hand in the rapid prototyping area. But in this class, you really get to see what it means to be an engineer in the field using CAD. And it's completely different than following instructions. Design something out of nothing is really what, uh, what this class is about, I believe. It is so satisfying to see your design come out in physical form. And it's not just some useless, you know, 3D test that you were taught. 
uh, in a class, it's something that you actually made and it's worth something. It solves a world problem.